All right, Mo. So we both know a lot about NFTs, but uh, some people may not. That's and right. Something specific last year happened, right? Board Apes Yacht Club, and actually the NFT market in general blew up, mm -hmm. right? It went crazy. But Justin Bieber, this has been trending recently. He spent $1.3 million last year on a BAYC, one of the apes, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's currently sitting on the floor at $59,000 in value. <laughs> Give me your hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad, man. It is. It's very sad. Listen, I think the technology is there for the long term. And don't get mis don't like mistake that the uh, what the market versus what the companies are doing. Th these are one year old companies like this is like a startup starting from scratch and it went to the moon and people are expecting like, oh my God, Everything. it's going to keep going above and beyond. Like, no, that's not how like real businesses work. You got to actually look at the operators if they're actually building, creating value and beyond for uh, their brand, essentially. I love that. And like you said, Yuga took a big investment. Yeah, they're still young. They're figuring out NFT markets not going anywhere oh, we yeah. both believe in the power of the use cases of the That's tech right what are you most excited about as things come back and nfts and the market evolves yeah i think just like um more doubling down on the creators i think a lot of people got too crazy on the hype of all these projects of these unknown projects like uh dino land and whatever so many uh, random like, projects so came many out. random projects and people were just like oh let me just throw my money on there and you know what like to be fair like everyone was like making money it was like oh my god that's all what people cared about and that's i think what the wrong way of coming about these businesses this is a technology like a web3 new wave of like technology for businesses to build in that space right yeah so it's really hard for people to understand like what this is beyond the money so that's why you have to look at that who is building it what are they creating what is the roadmap what's in the long term the value that i'm getting from these projects and for me like i really like gary because you know it's his brand name like his v friends project exactly. is literally tied to his name so if it dies it will extremely him. hurt him versus yeah. these like unknown people who are building kind of in like a ghost uh, exactly uh, well that's the issue right yeah. most of the people are anonymous what, yeah. then you have gary who's like public facing every day he's yeah. giving updates the discord's crazy yeah so there's more trust there like there's more trust that nothing bad will actually happen yeah and he'll see it through until he's like done basically yeah yeah i, th I think and then the long term uh he's one guy i would uh, bet my money on i know because you got <laughs> you got some spicy you got some special yeah we're not gonna talk about that but this this man knows a physical one of a one. physical the rarest piece of gary v's in his treasure chest or whatever you want to call gary it. gary knows this guy knows and gary knows you and of course bobby and the whole story yeah and M more on that later more on that later more on that later you know what more on that later that's that we're done <laughs>